let's get started and bring your first project onto Bubble Hive. In our simple example, we have a trained up pie. This trained up pie is basically the TensorFlow 2 quick start, and it's using MNIST data to train a model. Now, it is very simple, but that doesn't really matter because from a Valo High point of view, you would still go through the exact same steps to get even a larger project onboarded on Valo High. So to get a project on Valo High, you first need to create a Valo High configuration file. That's known as the Valo High YAML file. Each project has one Valo High YAML file, and inside it, you determine different steps uh, for, uh, for the project. So these steps could be, for example, a pre-processing step, a training step, a batch inference step, uh, a step where you compare different uh, model results, and so on. In our case, we have one simple step and uh, very creatively named train, uh, train MNIST model. And then we say image. Now the image is actually pointing to a Docker image. So Valahai will spin up a machine, launch a Docker container and run your code inside of that container so making sure that it's easily reproducible as long as you then use the same uh, Docker image version and image tags. So over here, we're using the TensorFlow 2 uh, image. And then the last thing that we're saying is command. We're saying Python train the pi. So once the image is, or the container is spun up, run Python train the pi, which will kickstart our uh, uh, train the pi over here and run on train. So now that we have this, let's go to uh, Valahai to app.valahai.com and create a new project. Let's create a new project and call it my first Valahai project and select create. Now as we create this, you see that it tells us that we don't have a repo connected to it. So we can uh, either click here to connect to our repository or then go through the project settings, repository tab and add a repository over here. Our example repository is public, so we can just paste the URL over there and it works. If you had a private repository, you can just add the SSH key and Valahai will, able, will be able to authenticate and fetch your repository from there. So now we have our Valahai YAML file and our repository connected to our new project, so we can click Create Execution. Now the Create Execution view is actually populated from your Valahai YAML file. In here, you have a step. What's the step that we want to run? Train MNIST model. What's the Docker image and what's the command? So these come directly from our uh, YAML file. And then on the environment side, we can choose by default, it's an Azure NC6 machine. You could choose an AWS machine or a GCP machine. Again, as you, when you become a Valohai customer, you can then add, for example, your local on-prem machines over here or run this inside of your cloud subscription. Once those things are defined, you can just create an execution and this will spin up a new execution. We're taking it to the execution page and we now see a lot of logs appearing. So what's happening over here? Follow how I started a job, got us the TensorFlow image, um, and then started running the container and running through our code. And this is all coming from the TensorFlow example. When it finishes, it just says completed 23 seconds. So that's essentially, we just set up a repository pulled our code into Valahai, used the Valahai YAML file to tell it what we wanted to do, and then click Create Execution, and it ran our code on Valahai. Next step, we're going to be looking at how to output files, and we'll be actually outputting the model file from this, because as you can see, it's training it, it's running through five epochs, and it's training us a model, but it didn't really output it anywhere. So we'll be looking at outputs next.